I'm actually really excited about this video because there are loads of things I'm loving at the moment and I want to talk about them. Emily Hartridge, a 35-year-old Instagram and YouTube star, killed on her electric scooter in Battersea on Friday. Her death came just hours before a 14-year-old boy was involved in another e-scooter crash in Beckenham. He's in a critical condition. It's thought thousands of people ride e-scooters across the country, despite them being illegal on roads and pavements. They can only be used on private property. They're technically classed as motor vehicles, so should have insurance, MOT and tax. If people are caught riding them on public land, they can face a fine and points on their licence. If you're on a road that has a lot of traffic on it, um, or there are any kind of um, uneven areas on the road, um, it, it, it can feel unsafe pretty quickly. Some within the industry say it's time the law was changed. What we want to do is to get more people onto smaller vehicles. For 60% of car journeys are with one person in the car, 25% with two. It's a very inefficient use of space. We need to get people out of their cars and get them onto smaller vehicles of a range of types. Last year, one company launched a trial of an e-scooter hire scheme in the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park, allowed because it's private land. It was hoped that the trial would ultimately persuade the government to change the law, but so far it hasn't. The government's currently carrying out a review on e-scooters and similar devices on the road, but that process is going to take around two years, and at the end of it, the law may still stay the same. At the moment, though, it's saying it's urging retailers to remind the public when they buy an e-scooter, it is illegal to ride it on the pavements and on the roads. Victoria Cook, BBC London News.